Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in our previous video of Jmeter, we have seen how to test an API. In this video, we will see the same how to test an API but through parameterization from a CSV file. Without any further ado, let us start the video. Right, let me create one CSV file. So I'll just uh, add few values. So I'll write first here. These will be my headers. I'll write protocol. CSV is comma separate values. I'll use this. I'll use URL and params. Okay. So the first uh, protocol will be HTTPS. So in the previous video, we have seen this API. So API COVID-19 countries. The URL will give you the list of countries. The response will give you a list of countries like this. So we'll see this as an example as a bunch again copy. So protocol will be HTTPS. So I'll give like this HTTPS comma. So API COVID-19.com will be our URI URL and also params will be the countries. So let me save this. I'll save this in the JMeter folder. I'll save this as um, API CSV params dot CSV. So let me save this. So it will be in API CSV params dot. So let me close this. API CSV params is here. So I will do what? I will uh, click on copy as path. Now, let me cre create from the beginning. As we all know how to create a thread group. If you don't know, we can see my previous videos in the playlist. I will create a thread group. I will write read from CSV. So, I will click. I will right click here. First, what I will add? I'll add a config element CSV data config set. I have to just add a file path. So let me add a file path here. If the API CSV params is in the same bin folder, we can we don't have to give up to JMeter. But for now we'll use this. And also we need a HTTP request. In the HTTP request, if you want to access from a CSV file. You have to give dollar flower brackets and whatever the variable you have. Let's see. The protocol is the first uh, element which we have. So let me copy that and we can paste it here. So I'll copy this. In server name we can add a URL. So let me take another header URL. I'll write URL here. I'll copy and paste the path here. So in the path we can take params. So I'll take params. I'll put it path here. So like this we can take a data from CSE file. Let me add one more thing to view the results. So we have to add a listener which is uh, in the add section listener drop down. Uh, you can click on view results tree here. Uh, let me execute this read from CSV test plan. So I don't want to save it for now. Let us see in the view results tree. If I click on it, uh, we can see the request. Request is API COVID19.com countries response that is same what we have got in the API. So let us take another API. Okay. Let me take the summary API. What is? We have another API, right? See, we have summary. So let me copy this, right? Let me let me add it here. Control D. So instead of countries, we'll have summary. You can write summary here. I'll save this file. I'll close this file. And also, I can execute this both. But one thing you have to do, you have to increase the loop count. How many loop counts we have? Two loop counts we have. So now. 
let me go to go on to view registry clear this one let me execute it i don't want to save it for now so first http request should be the country second one should be summary summary response data is this what we have so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye